Good morning, everybody. This is day 12 of, of the packet, um, and we are reading The Big Word Girl, which is the poem on page 364 and 365. I'm not wild about this poem, I have to admit, but um, it does have some good th qualities about it. All right, this is The Big Word Girl. Let's take a look at the structure before we begin to read. So we have one, two, three, four stanzas. Each stanza has four lines, okay, until it breaks here, okay? See how they play around with the type here? All right. The Big Word Girl. Of all the clever girls I know, Elaine's the one who counts, but what she counts are syllables and words I can't pronounce. I took her to a horror show, Godzilla Meets Tooth Fairy but she could not unglue her eyes from Webster's Dictionary. She put her trembling hand in mine, Godzilla smashed the floor, for she had come across a word she'd never seen before. But when the lights came on, Elaine was sound asleep and snoring. I woke her up, she yawned and said, how uncustomarily, extraordinarily, incomprehensibly boring. Again. Not my favorite poem. I happen to like Godzilla. All right, so this is a narrative poem. It is telling a story. The speaker is Elaine's friend, I'm assuming. Uh, I don't think a parent would put up with this nonsense. Um, so maybe a brother or sister. She, uh, the, the reader, uh, the speaker, the narrator, feels that um, Elaine is a clever girl, smart, and she can read words that most people can't. Um... So we have another theme about uh, literacy. Um, Alphabet Soup, Necessary gar Gardens was talking about the joy of reading, eating alphabet soup, focused on making the words from letters in the soup. This is a big word girl, focuses on using an advanced vocabulary. And no lie, these are pretty uh, advanced uh, words. Extraordinarily, incomprehensibly boring no, but I happen to like Godzilla. So um, what you want to be aware of is that uh, the, even the mention of Godzilla, this is considered an illusion. Um, I wanted you to see how the rhyme worked. We talked about that more yesterday. But in this poem, you can you really um, can hear the, the rhythm of it. Of all the clever girls I know, Elaine's the one who counts. But what she counts are syllables and words I can't pronounce. So that rhyme scheme of A, B, C, A um, pretty much goes throughout the whole thing. So there is there is a rhyme here. Good rhythm, um, that kind of thing. Mention of Godzilla. Um, I think it's... Like here it shows her um, reading a dictionary with a miner's cap on or a camping light on. Yeah, um, if she was trying to ruin my Godzilla movie like that, I'd have something to say. So I'm, I'm not wild about this one. Um, so, but it, it is a poem. It has a good structure, has a good rhythm. And so you, you read it a couple times. You may like it more than I did. Um, that that's why we do this stuff. Okay. Good luck.